Hi there Wargamers, it's Dan Bringer here with um, episode 3 of the A-Wing Landing Pad series. Um, I've made a tiny bit of progress in the last video. Um, I've started painting the interior of the cockpit, picked out most of the interior here in a... Oh, let's get it... For, here we go. In um, German... Uh, German... German Grey, there we go. So it's basically a very... Um, charcoal black so I'm also going to give the seat um, uh, a coat of brown I think either dry hard bark or um, what's that word called rhinoxide so I think it's actually rhinoxide that's just uh, more um, there we go we're going to go with that one rhinoxide but sure in the right place there we go um, so we'll give that a coat and see what happens I'll be back in a bit to show you how that's going so guys, I've um, got away and got some of uh, that rhinoxide. Get rhinoxide on the uh, on the passenger seat, and um, that's all. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in the shot, guys. I'm not. There we go. Yep, there we go. That's it. On the side panels, it looks like it's got some kind of paneling on it. So, um, maybe material. So. I've also, as you can see, I've um, started picking out the wires and a and a red and a. And a and a yellow and I've also started um, picking out some parts on the console so if you um, see there we've got some metallic bits picked out on the console and oddly enough there's um, unless that's meant to be it there's no flight stick unless it's in the pilot's hand which is a bit of a shame but never mind I'm sure you won't, you won't notice on the table when it's a, a train piece so picked out those bits of lead belcher and um, I'm going to give the metallic bits say uh, sorry guys there we go a um a wash a bl the black bit and the metallic bits are what a black wash and the actual um, brown areas uh, and the red and yellow wires a um agro shade wash so it's normal oil and agro shade so back in a tick when that's done right guys um i've applied those washes to the uh the parts are off, so the seat has got a lot darker and uh, the console is uh, looking a lot more, um, well, it's picked, the detail's being picked out a lot nicer. And uh, that screen's looking nice and grimy in the corners. Uh, it's, it's still a little bit wet in the corners, but i um, not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to go away now and paint this uh, chair with uh, Doom Bill Brown. It's a uh, nice... Leather, well, no, leather's the wrong word, but it's um, it's a nice brown that I, I use for a lot of my um, straps on um, on minis. So that there we go. So I'll paint that chair of that and see how it goes. We might do a, a further highlight um, in a second on that, but anyway, we'll go away, paint that, and see what it looks like. Right, guys, I've done a few more steps. I've, um, as you can see, the that uh, Doombill Brown's on the seat, and it's already. Um, Looking apart, I think I'm gonna go go one one stage higher than um, to go to Tuscor fur. I've also done the interior panels a bit just to pick out that. Uh, again, I might um, go a bit higher, but to see how see how I feel. And I've um, re-picked out the wires in uh, the same colours before. So Avalanche Sunset for the yellow and the um, Mephisto Red for the blue for the red. Um, and a bit of uh, lead belt from the the clips that were um, painted over before. I've even uh, put a little crisscross pattern on the screen. If it actually focuses on that. Sorry, guys. There we go. It looks like a little targeting thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, on the screen there. So I think I'm going to go away and paint the um, the chair a bit, a bit brighter. Uh, see how it looks like. And also, and also one thing, just to... Just to yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, back in a second. Alright guys, as you can see the uh, Tuscoff first being applied and did it to the inside as well, not overly pleased with that sort of thing. I'm going to uh, wash it back with a bit more accurate sort of shade and see how it ends up. Um, so, back when that's dried and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Right guys, I've um, the wash is dried now and um, uh, the seat is looking a lot better. Uh, the signs are still looking a bit um, iffy, but um, I'm, I'm happy to leave it as it is because um, you can't really see that much. But the still love how the console ca came out. Looks 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 apart. Um, it's time to put the, um, the the most of the parts together now. 
uh, see how it goes. So, um, according to the instructions, I'm supposed to stick the uh, canopy on here, but I'm not going to because obviously it's. Um, I'm not too sure whether or not I'm going to um, um, leave it on for the oil, what the varnish and one for the cat. Remember what gloss varnish does to um, clear climate. And I know the matte varnish does weird stuff. So um, let's get this this bad boy looking um, a bit more like an earring, shall we? Well, that's slightly annoying. Can't be helped though. Hmm, oh, a bit of an ugly sight as well. Well, you know, so don't know how much that'll be visible soon anyway. Anyway, and then the. That's, that's still working, that's good news. There we go, it's looking more the part anyway. I just have to hide that big gap. I can't get it in any closer, unfortunately. Actually, right, so watch next, I think it's the, um, the wings next. Yeah. So, probably don't need any glue for these ones. There we go. Oh. Yeah. So, da -da -da. There we go, that's nice and covered up that mess. Let's do it the other side. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Oh, I do love how that plastic um, bit makes the... Um, And those LEDs fire off a bit better. Wow, it's a lot longer. It makes it look a hell of a lot longer, doesn't it? Right, I think it's just the uh, cockpit that needs, needs to go on. Then we're ah, oh, the, the side guns, the guns, the guns. Need to need these guns, doesn't it? Yeah, again. I think friction will hold that in uh, plenty. Yeah, and that's nicely conceal concealed enough for um, by that gun to be not worthy of too much worry. Reasonable thing, and plus, when I put the oil wash on it, it'll cover all up, all up mostly. So, the only thing left was um, will be this this part that goes in at some point. Let's dry fit it for now. Yeah, and 
Ah, sod it, just push it in. It'll come out of it, it's come out before. There we go. That's one airing done, just apart from obviously all the, the oil wash that needs to go on to, to go in all those panel lines and make it all pop, but that's uh, not looking too bad if I do say so myself. Okay guys, I'm going to go give some, just a couple of coats of gloss varnish to protect all the paintwork I've done so far and we'll be back in a jiffy to um, give us an oil wash. Right, let's do that one more time. Yeah. There we go, right. Back in the tick guys. Right guys, the uh, varnish has been done uh, several times, um, it's messed up the windows, it's even messed up the uh, uh, parts of the bodywork, it's, it's settling really weirdly on parts, I don't know why, I've, I've decided to throw it, uh, the varnish bottle away because it's um, annoying because like over here it's fine but over here it's like all grainy and gritty, so I, don't, I just don't know what's going on with it but I'm going to have to decide, I decided I'm just going to live with it and see what happens from the... Um, the oil wash goes on. I'm a bit bummed out about it, but um, just see how it goes. Pop up the oil wash and see if um, if it survives and if um, it looks all right at the end of the day. It's, it's, a, it's only for the, the the terrain piece to fight. Um, it's not exactly the a feature point of the army. So um, thankfully, it's not that bad. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm applying an oil wash and I'll be back when that's done and dried and ready to take off. And we'll see how that goes. And also, um, damn. Not even a bit when they um, uh, vanished inside it and uh, it stuck to the bloody surface I, was, I, was, uh, I left it on. Okay guys, probably should have uh, done it um, when it was um, all separated, but never mind. Let's see how it goes. Oil oh, wash time. Right guys, uh, the oil wash has been put down and it's looking rather filthy, uh, as you can see for yourselves. But um, as usual, um, nice and... Murky and it's in all those panel lines nicely, so hopefully it'll um, come off nicely. Um, there's not going to be too much um, shenanigans going on with the um, where the varnish didn't quite go right. So hopefully it'll all turn out nice. I'll be back in a bit when I've done with the um, oil wash. Right, back in the tick. Right, guys, um, I've got that all sealed up now. I've, I've even done a little bit to the canopy to uh, reduce the fog in a little bit it's not brilliant but it's um, it's better than it was I think um, probably shouldn't have should have masked it up or maybe something else with plastic but I think it's look, looking nice and battered and used so um, I'm, I'm okay with it um, so it's in the view site, so it's uh, looking rather nice as a part, nice and worn, nice and used. Um, if we can get the interior out, even though the uh, the end is looking all right now, so, so I'm quite pleased with the end result. Uh, sound's still working, thankfully. Still slightly, slightly annoyed that the um, sorry, I just banged the camera there. That the uh, gloss varnish was played off on me. So it, um, there's parts where the the oil wash has um, lifted the paint. It's looking rather nice on the underside. Obviously, you can still see the uh, parts of the <laughs> unpainted bits, which is a shame. But never mind. It's in the side, so it's not really matter too much. Um, also, there's a screw sticking out there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with the end result of that. Um, so I'm gonna do some stills and whatnot for the um, for the bit of a showcase. So drop that li uh, drop us a like if you could. That would be, I'd appreciate. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already for other videos like this one, and um, eventually be back reports when all this uh, craziness blows over. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned for the showcase bit. Bye bye now.